Hi, people out there in Facebook land. This is Dave Getrick. Um, a lot of people have been asking me about the, um, a lot of people have been asking me about more editions of Put Ahead Press Live. And the last couple of weeks have been like in saying, hey, Christine, how are you? Um, and it was Christine Swanberg's watching us, everybody. And um, so a lot of people have been asking about it. And I know that um, there are, you know, fans of it, I guess. So I want to thank everybody for watching over the last couple of weeks. It's been a busy couple of weeks, so I have not had the time to put together any shows. But I think I'm going to put together a show next Monday because there are things happening in the Chicago poetry scene. There's some books coming out. There's a reading up in Highland Park that I'd like to talk to some people about. And I think that we're going to be opening up more and more soon. That said, the economy is is going crazy. Mr. Bobek, hi! I am going to have a show next Monday, I think. Mike Puokin. I mean, Mike Puokin has a new book coming out. And I think that I should get him on the show to talk about it a little bit. I've had some problems with my tech here because I'm the only one doing the tech and I really wish I had some money to afford some new tech. But right now, I think I'm going to run a couple shows that are just uh, speakerphone shows. So it's going to be you and me and a poet on a speakerphone. So that's the, high, that's the low tech show that I originally started with and I think I'm going to um, keep with that low tech show. But I want to talk about the poets who are having, um, <coughs> excuse me, that was dust in my throat because I tried to clean my house today too. Um, the, um, uh, but yeah, <laughs> Mr. Bullock, I'm going to be, I'm going to be doing more and more shows. Uh, good night, Christine. Uh, good to talk to you today. I hope everything goes well with you. But there's a lot of books coming out that I like to talk about. And there's, I want to talk about readings that are coming up as they're opening up uh it's the like 20th some anniversary of kathleen shandemeyer's reading at at the beach she's doing it at Loyola beach and she can't do it this year and i'd like to reminisce with some people a little bit about kathleen's reading and uh and the highland park reading i really like to uh get somebody from the highland park reading to come talk about that a little bit it's at the Supec Cabin. I think they're doing it once a month. And there's all kind of regular online stuff going on. And I think that this is a better format to present this than the emails that I was doing every um, every week for a while. Because putting the email together is a lot of work. So I'm trying to do a little bit less. I'm trying to fit everything in. It seems the world is opening up and there's lots of opportunities with everything out there. So I've been running around taking care of that. And there's some poets that told me once. I, I have talked to some poets, um, including um, uh, Jared Smith, um, a couple other ones. And I was complaining that life was getting in the way of doing poetry. Life was getting in the way of doing put in head. And they said that poetry is basically unstoppable and um, you're going to have to... Um, hey, Kathleen. Thanks, I got some sun. Uh, Kathleen, I'd like to maybe get you on speakerphone in the next couple Mondays to talk about the Beach Poets a little bit. Uh, as long as you're watching. And uh, thanks for watching. And, um, you know, they, they said that poetry is, is isn't going to stop. Uh, and you're not going to lose your ability to do poetry, and you're not going to lose your ability to to do poetry, poetry entrepreneur kind of stuff. So, the um. Anyways, I um, they said take care of life. So the last couple of weeks I've been taking care of life, and that's why we haven't had a put in head press life for about. Uh, if we haven't had one for four weeks now. So, but I think I'm going to try to start doing it a little bit more because we need things like this. We need a program that actually talks about poetry rather than uh, just presents poetry. So I want to continue to talk about writing. I want to continue to talk about um, people's histories as writers. And I'm still pursuing 
what the role of a writer is in the modern society now. I'm still pursuing that. So uh, I want to get people like that, and I think I'm going to primarily work off the um, off a speakerphone until I could get the tech kind of stuff working perfectly with the thing. Uh, hi, Wesley. Yes, I, I'm back doing a doing a non poetry uh, poetry show. And um, anyways, and I'm gonna try to figure out how to actually get people um, on um, how to get people on. There is a way on Facebook Live to get a split screen with two people, and I'm gonna figure out how to do that. Uh, but I haven't had time to, but I'm going to work on that a little bit more. So in the future, um, I promise you, I'm going to try to do some more, uh, put it in press live kind of stuff. I'm going to make it more commercial. I'm going to be pushing books, uh, at the website, uh, put it at press.com. And, uh, you could go there now and you could buy a book if you want. That'd be really wonderful. Uh, you could buy through PayPal. So... And you can buy Kathleen Shannemeyer's book, for example, through through the, um, there. Uh, Billy Tuggle's book, Lawrence Tyler's book, Jared Smith's book, Marine Flannery's book, uh, Lee Kitsis's book. There's um, a, a, a Wayne Ellen Jones book. And uh, if you want a special book, just let me know by email. phbooks, uh, phbooks at att.net. And, um, and hopefully... Uh, Johnny Mazulowitz will finish up his um, Happy Taper uh, magazine poetry anthology, writing anthology. So we're gonna be able to um, sell that pretty soon. And um, and you know there's lots of poetry stuff, and I like talking about poetry history. So I want to get people, some people out there, to talk about their history of. Um, their history, their personal history with the Chicago poetry scene. I'm also having a difficult time um, going and archiving these readings. And I'm struggling with some way to do that because there is a Put in Head Press YouTube channel that has some of them on there. And the Put in Head Press YouTube channel has some Bloomsday stuff on there. It has uh, some readings by Jeff Helgeson, some features by me. So you could go and look at the. Um, Put in Head Press YouTube channel. Just look for Put in Head Press. Uh, we're also on Twitter too. So I'm going to be promoting uh, and trying to commercialize this a little bit more. So that's what I do. I promote poetry. So, anyways, um, yes, Kathleen. Oh, shucks. Well, I really wish we had the Beach Poets going still going on. Kathleen, how long has the Beach Poets been going on? It's been a long time. Uh, the Beach Poets started with the School Street Cafe readings. And School Street was closed one day, so Kathleen went over to North Avenue Beach and she um, she ran her reading at the beach. And it was at the beach ever since. So she's been one of the um, real, real active, involved people. 30 years. I didn't even realize I knew Kathleen Channel here for 30 years. Um, there was a really cool reading we did one time. Um, yeah, you buy Billy Tuggle's book, um, on the Put in Head Press website, so take a look at that. Anyways, the, um, it's, um, 30 years. There was a, there was a really fun reading that we did called, at a place called Poetry in the Park. It was, it was called Poetry in the Park. It was a park in Oak Park. And I remember a um, a newborn uh, Chandelmeyer up there with Kathleen, and they were uh, reading on the microphone. And I remember taking my niece, my like six month old niece, and and doing poetry readings with her in my arms, which was kind of cool. But uh, that was one of the the re earliest readings that I can remember of Kathleen Schandelmeyer. Um but we had we had all we had Dean Hacker there. We had Valerie Jeans there. That was that was a wonderful reading. Um 
30 years, I was seven. Wesley, you're, you're, you're a young, that young of a tight? Um, wow. I mean, we could be your parents? That's scary. <laughs> of course, me and Kathleen, we were like 15 at the time, too. So, uh, 30 years. I remember, I, I remember one reading at the North Avenue Beach where, um, I think I read a history of Dave Getchick love poetry, uh, actually. And I was, I was featured and J.J. Jameson came to hear my feature. J.J. came late because he was working on a drywalling job or something and he fell off the ladder and he broke his leg. He didn't know he broke his leg though. So J.J. came and he sat down in the corner at, at, at the beach and he listened to my reading and I left and J.J. said, guys, you need to help me get to my car. Well, they lifted J.J. up and they carried him over to the over to his car. Well, J.J. wound up not being able to drive because of his broken leg. It had swollen up and locked up while he was sitting there watching me read poetry. So John Biederman, um, God rest his soul, um, had to figure out how to drive a stick shift car to drive J.J. to the hospital. And they, they set his leg or whatever they did at the time. Uh, John Biederman was, a, was a, if read the Kinky Dolphin readings over on Clark Street, just north of Fullerton. I can't remember. Cafe, Cafe Amore. And John Biederman died in the last year and a half. So he's another poet that we, that we lost. And um, Eddie Two Rivers just had his 75th anniversary, 75th birthday. And I found some unpublished Eddie Two Rivers uh, poetry that he had given me to edit at one time. So I want to uh, get that up to his, his ex-wife, Beverly, and then see if she'll give me permission to read that poetry online for you guys. So we might have some unpublished uh, Eddie Two Rivers poetry here. Also, I still have a whole bunch of unpublished John Dixon poetry that I have to go through. I round, wound up with the archives of, of several different poets, and um, eventually they're going to wind up at a library somewhere, either Newberry or, or University of Chicago. But I am going to be you know, doing more um, dead poet stuff uh, as, the, as it goes on. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to do a a reading every yes the tunnel rap publisher kathleen um i remember t tunnel john biederman published a magazine called tunnel rat that was pretty much dedicated to performance art and and a lot of poetry in chicago but it was one of the um it was one of the that and letter x and open mic magazine and i'm going to try to figure out some way to communicate the um that history of the open mic and the letter X um, with you a little bit better. I have not been able to do a good graphical kind of thing, for example. So it's just me doing this stuff, working with ant antiquated equipment. And I, but I do want to bring uh, to life some of that Chicago poetry history that's, that just sitting around in this place and, 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 I want to be able to communicate, and also I want to feature a, a deceased poet um, every week. So I don't know if I'm able to do a show every week because life gets in the way, but I'm going to try. So I'll be back next Monday. I'm going to start about 7 o'clock, and I got a couple people in mind that I want to have on. And like I said, we're just going to do a speak until I figure out uh, the tech for the Zoom. We were doing this this Zoom Facebook Live hybrid thing, where I was broadcasting Zoom onto um, onto Facebook Live. But right now, I think I'm just going to stick with a speakerphone format. So we'll be doing that, and I'll be back uh, next Monday. And I want to uh, talk to Kathleen about about doing something. Uh, to commemorate the 30th anniversary of the Beach Poets. Uh, that's going to be cool. I remember 
Um, it was 97 degrees outside as a feature I had at the Beach Poets. And it was me and me and Carol Anderson. Uh, so Carol Anderson is like 75 and it's 97 degrees. And, uh, and we got up there and it was at Loyola Beach and it was still, it was still a wonderful time. Um, I remember I was the last time I was featured there was with Jerry Pendergast. Um, so it's one of those historic things in, it's one of those historic things in, in Chicago poetry history that we need to, um, remember. See, I don't want us to forget that, I don't want us to forget that there were and will be open mics and poetry readings, live poetry in Chicago. I mean, in Chicago, in, in Chicago area. Uh, we've been, um, it, it's starting to, um, you know, I don't want the new poets to forget that that stuff's going on. So, let's, yes, there was frozen towels. <laughs> Carol Anderson had frozen some towels and we were putting the frozen tiles around our neck because it was so hot out. Uh, pe people do that kind of stuff. And, and those stories, and, and this is like, this is like a campfire. And we get around, we sit around a campfire, we talk about the old stories. And, and the back in the old days, back in the old days when we read poetry to one another in bars and coffee houses. Back in the old days when they had these frappuccino or whatever mocha kind of machines that made all kind of noise. But anyways, I don't want to, I'm going to sign off here, but I'll be back. I, I hope to be back next Monday. Um, come, come, if the water don't rise too high, let's put it that way. And, uh, I just had a couple grueling weeks of grueling work. Um, so anyways, hi, Tressa, how are you? Um, and we'll be, Tressa, she's there and she's there at the same time. I got two screens going on and I want to thank everybody for watching and, um, and, I'm going to sign off and I'll be back. Um, I'll be back around uh, next Monday with some kind of show. I may, I don't know what kind of exactly kind of promotion I'm going to do. I might just invite people individually and just appear on Facebook Live because the invitations that when you run a Facebook Live event, um, the way that I'm doing it, Facebook does not know how many people attend. So I'm limited to the number of people I could I could do. Uh yeah, Tressa, I, I've been I've been working my butt off, so this is the first time I've been Facebook Live on Monday nights in a long time. So we're gonna be back and we're gonna do um we're gonna do some um some speakerphone readings like we first couple that we did. So I don't know who I'm going to have yet, but it's going to be exciting. So anyways, I'm signing off. Good night, everybody. I'm going to actually go back and do some work. I'll talk to you later. Bye.